Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have to go shopping for cleaning supplies. We have to get hangers for my closet. And I think that's about it for today. So I'm going to take y'all with me. Um, I got a lot of clothes to go through in my closet. A lot of clothes. And half of them I'm going to put in uh, put in garbage bags to donate to this thrift store. So yeah, on base. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to Dollar Tree first. Y'all already know me. Dollar Tree. Um, cheap. And whatever we don't get at Dollar Tree, that's when we can go to Walmart. Because I got to get the hangers, of course. Yeah, Dollar Tree will close. Well, oh, so we had to go to Walmart. I'm picking up the cheapest things I find. Right now I'm looking for the hangers. Hangers went up, didn't it? Oh, uh, a pack, seven forty-eight for fifty. That's cheap, I think. Oh, let's see if we can find some cheap cleaning supplies, honey. And I'm looking for the 98 cent stuff only. This way, yeah. So I'm looking for 98 cent stuff because Dollar Tree would close and I would have wrapped up in Dollar Tree. But I do need to get us some. Um, some of these, y'all. So, let's see. I hate that they print all this copyright. There's not more. But that made $11. Damn. Let me see. Walmart's cheap. $7.97. Yeah, I can't record a lot here because they got this music playing. We already got dish detergent. And I don't want to get copyrighted. So I might just do a haul of everything I got when I get home. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Yeah, why 32 thing costs $197? $197. Dollar worth the stuff at Dollar Tree would have been 197 items. So it's still too much. I'm still bothered about it. <laughs> oh, she. Good morning, y'all. It's 10 o'clock, and it's time to get up and get busy. I got a lot of stuff I got to do around the house today. I even made a list. Let's see. But I really got to wait for some to my Amazon package to get here. But I can do something while I'm waiting. The first thing I got to do. So, when I was walking around the house, I noticed a lot of the baseboards are coming up from the floor. Which, you can see like a crack between the wall. I mean, between the floor. Yeah, the floor and the wall. So, I'm going to caulk some floors as much as I can. As much as possible. I ain't never caulked nothing a day in my life. But I'm caulking in, baby. I got to cover the drain. Um, we have a drain in our laundry slash wash laundry room. So, and if y'all know, y'all know. Your water bugs and other type come up through that. And I just, I'm covering it up. So, I bought a mesh um, cover to cover it up. And I'm going to caulk it down. And when I was reading the group, like, in the neighborhood I stay in, a lot of people said that helped tremendously. So, this one I'm going to do. The other thing I need to do, I need to wash clothes. I need to show y'all what I got from Walmart. 
because I didn't do that when I got home the other day. I need to spray the house. So we have some ortho home uh, spray, home defense spray. So I'm going to just spray around the house, the windows, whatever. And I bought some door stoppers off Amazon. And I'm going to put those down too because between the door and the wall, our door does, because our door doesn't fully touch the floor. So I bought a couple, I bought for like four of them. So I'm going to show y'all doing as much as I can today. Um, like I said, it is 10 o'clock, so it's time for me to get up and get busy. I need to go check on these clothes in the dryer and then show y'all the, um, um, why well, didn't show y'all the cleaning haul. But yeah, uh, our dryer and washer came yesterday. Having a dryer and a washing machine in your home is such, um, a blessing. It's luxury to me because, baby... Going to the laundromat every week is like, wow, so draining, so time consuming, and money costing it. Well, money costing. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I really am thankful that we were able to get um, a washer and dryer because we haven't had a washer and dryer in a long time. And the first one that we had when we stayed in Georgia, um, we were renting them, so it was like $25 a month. I mean, that's a deal there. But they didn't offer that when we moved. Again in Georgia, so we just never got one. We just went to the laundromat. I just so thankful we got one right downstairs. <sighs> yeah. So let's see. I'm just talking whether I can just be getting up and getting busy, but oh Lord, help me complete all these tasks today. Okay, let's go. So let's go downstairs. I need to go ahead and do this haul, but I think my tripod is up here, so I'll take that downstairs with me. It is. Yeah, did I show y'all? No, I didn't show y'all. So this is what I was talking about for my closet to put my, like a little shelf thing. And look, I put my perfumes up there. They say it needs to be in a uh, what they said about perfume, it needs to be a, a dark room. But anyway, I got my underclothes, my pajamas. Yeah, this is how far I have come along. For this up here, I got a lot of t-shirts and stuff. I'm going to get some storage cubes and put all that in there. Okay, yeah, so I got my robes. I got the the winter clothes, like my cardigans, the knit clothes and stuff, the jeans. And I have, like, I don't know. I don't know how I did these. I just really put it up there. I didn't try to color coordinate or anything. But yes, I did this. And yeah. And y'all, I still have one more box to freaking go. I was getting so frustrated. Luckily, my husband came home. And he saw I was frustrated. He was like, what you need me to do? <laughs> Ooh, thank God for him. But yeah. Because I'm telling you, I wouldn't even been did this if he hadn't came in. What he did? Oh, but yeah, so I still, and I'm going to get, um, I got to get some storage cubes. I have to get some containers. I'm going to put my pajamas and stuff in. The thing is, in my main, in the uh, main bed, bedroom, I don't want dressers, you know. I'm so tired of, I don't want a cluttered look in my bedroom. I, if it's closed, it needs to be in the closet. We can get some containers, put them in there. But in the um, bedroom, I don't want no dresses. Like, even for, like, you know, like, usually we'll have, like, our TV on a dresser. I don't want 
fat shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a TV stand, or either it's gonna get uh, mounted. Mounted. But I just, I, I, we're not doing that in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna strain up a little bit, get a little bit of this. What I did, what I can do now. And my daughter starts school tomorrow, so we're going up to the school. I'm praying for her. like a new school. Like there can be a lot, even on a small child. You know, you used to being with your friends, you gotta make. Uh. I'm praying for my baby. I hope she has a great day, great rest of the school year. everything but yeah that's how i'm doing for right now i just like i said i just did the closet as much as i could do right now yeah i think i did it pretty good i got i made a lot of progress we had like two i had two um boxes like big boxes what the hell is this over here is this mine I know that's my pajamas. Oh, these are my pajamas. Yeah. These are my pajamas. I was going to say, what's going on? Because I ain't. <laughs> yeah, some of my pajamas, my underclothes. I'm getting like a little storage thing they can put under it. Under. I'm getting a little storage thing and I'm going to put it like in this facing, like right under the clothes. I'm trying to get as much as these um cardboard boxes out of here. I'm tired of looking at them. I couldn't even, y'all know how much I like to relax. I have not been able to relax in a while. Like, I haven't, like, at the hotel, I was relaxing, baby. It's welcome to the real world. You finna unpack. I'm watching my wife and kids, relaxing, doing my time. Got a house, boom, mark to work. So I'm just ready for this whole process to be over with, this whole movie process. It's just I'm ready to be settled. Hopefully we'll be official settled officially settled in by next week. I'll give it next week. Yes, I'm just ready to settle like relax my bed. I love my bed. <laughs> I love being being watch the TV shows. My wife and kids is my comfort show right now. Um it was one on one, still is. It was half and half. I'm going to have to go back and watch half and half. I love half and half. One on one. Martin. Uh, what else have you watched? I've been watching a whole, old, a lot of old, comfy, living single. Right now, my baby loves to watch The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and her all-time favorite. My Remember, y'all, my child is five years old. <laughs> so she loved The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Bel the one with the original real Smith, not the new one. And she loved the Parkers. <laughs> she absolutely loved the Parkers. I want to watch the Parkers, the Parkers. But I blame me because when she was little, baby, we used to watch The Temptations. Baby, 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 she knew them songs. <laughs> she loved House Party. She loved Friday. Like, she's me. Like, anything I watch and it's like an old film, she loved it. The first time she watched Friday, baby, we had to watch it again the next day. But anyway, I'm just rambling until, um, yeah, so I'm about to relax my mind for a second, get the rest of this mess up off this flow, and yeah, just chill. I'm going to have to tell my husband to get them storage containers. I should have got them yesterday when I was at Walmart, but I didn't. Tree being closed, man. 
96 dollars for 30 some products okay so the first thing we got is this all-purpose cleaner with the bleach for scent i've tried to get a lot of products that got bleach in it i don't know i just bleach cleans the second thing i got is this glass cleaner because we have glass doors now so gotta keep that clean i also need to some blinds and I also got this pink stuff, the Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleaner. Um, I had, um, when I was cleaning the products I borrowed the other day, they had the pink stuff, the regular cleaner. Um, I was like, I need to give me some of these, so I just chose to get the bathroom cleaner. I think that was like $5. And of course, you know, we got the washer and the dryer. So I bought this all um, free and clear. What? No perfumes, no dyes. Mighty packs. I got this for like my underclothes, my uh, panties, my gowns. So I wash them in hot water with fragrance free. It's very good. Cause you know sometimes you change your clothes and you get like uh, change laundry detergents and you get um, allergic reactions and stuff like that. It doesn't settle good with your skin. So try the all free and clear. Then I got these toilet refills. They got a Rainforest Rush scent now. I usually get the original, but I'm gonna try these out. Yeah, I know I got that little run cleaner to clean my toilet instead of the scrub. This is more hygienic and I'll link these below. Cause I, they do have them on Amazon as well. The next thing I got, oh, it's leaking. No. But anyway, the next thing I got is this 100%. Why did I say 100%? It's this Mr. Clean, the first scent. I got it for the mop. I have the old cedar mop now. Yeah, I know I borrowed that too. I was like, I have to give me an old cedar mop. So I do have that. We bought that with the haul, but it's in my hook. It's in the car. And then I just got me some scrub, some scrubs, heavy duty scrubs. These would have been a dollar at Dollar Tree. I think they were like close to two dollars, two dollars and thirty something, I think. And for the dishwasher, I wanted to try this Finish Quantum. I wanted to try these to see how these work for the dishwasher. They were about, they were about five dollars though. So maybe just me going for these expenses expensive products when I could have just um used the Walmart brand but I wanted to give finish to try. It might work really good. And for the toilet I got these uh quick click gel where you just press it in the toilet and it stays in there for supposedly 12 weeks. So I got these. I had the other scent before they worked really well. I think I got them over there on the floor. Yeah the other scent worked good too. So I'm going to give these to try the lifestyle brand. And we do have three toilets now. But anyway, I got some of these two toilet cleaners. And the lemon breeze scent. I bought some dry sheets. These smell so good. So freaking good. Super fresh. Snuggle. And I also have some cleaning cloths. Comes with five of these. Just regular cleaning cloths. But I got the regular laundry cloths in there. They already in the washer. And I got this big old thing of bleach, baby. This gonna last a month. Keep white spider over, la la la. It's going to last. It's going to last. I already used some of these, but we got I bought some freezer bags. Yeah. What about was some bouncy napkins. And I did put two bras on, my, on there, but listen, it was $4. It still shouldn't have been that much. But yeah, so I did the haul. What we got to do next. Is, I don't know if I want to start caulking the floors or if I want to put my stuff in the washer. I'm probably going to put my stuff in the washer. But I think I want to wait so I can cover that drain. I, did I show it? I think I showed a clip of the drain when um 
when I was doing the house, I, I think I showed y'all the, the little thing on the floor. And it's big, got a big old, like, what? I got this military house, and you can't expect the best. Can't expect, I always can't expect the best. But none, nonetheless, I am grateful for my own. I am. But jeez. Yeah, I be hearing these stories about these military houses, which... Which I'm not gonna complain because we, we don't have a bad home. Our home actually looks pretty decent compared to the, some of the other houses that other people live in. So I'm grateful for that. Anyway, so I think I'm finna, no, I'm probably finna go outside and spray. That's what I'm probably finna do. Most likely that's what I'm finna do. What degrees it is. Mm -hmm. but it's 61 degrees. It's supposed to be 71 degrees around 1. Maybe I should wait till one o'clock to go outside instead of in this. But it's the sun's out, so it really shouldn't be that bad. I might just go out, hurry up and spray, and run back in the house. But anyways, on to the next. Okay, y'all, I think my camera went dead, but I'm on my phone. But reading the instructions is very helpful because I was reading that cock on all the way around. So let's try to smooth this stuff out. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And remember, it does come with the thing so I can... Right, let's get the rest of this. up the cock. We got action. Okay. But yeah, these baseboards on these floors was completely with it. So like I said, I don't care how it looks because they should have fixed them themselves. Instead of having me doing all these.
Okay. I don't have to buy me some more coke. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna finish cocking the rest of what I can do. And then I'm gonna order me some more coke off Amazon. Cause this whole house gonna be caught up, okay? Like I said, I don't care how it look, cause it should've been done before we got in. I could call them and tell them I'm gonna do it, but Lord knows how long they're gonna take. I might well do it myself, right? Right. Yeah, this the hole I was talking about. Just look at it. It's getting covered. Right now, we do some of these wall patches thing to cover it up. Yeah, so this how it look now. Way better, don't it? Ain't nothing giving me eh? but water. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced So no one else can make you do That's why I'm not in my life with you I wanna please you in any way I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? Hey y'all, I'm about to make some spaghetti. It's been a couple days since I last talked to y'all for real. So I'm gonna talk to y'all while I'm making me some spaghetti. I'm so tired of being Bob the Builder, Billy the Exterminator. I said I need to take a break from getting this house and stuff together. I look like I need a break. <laughs> but yeah, so I just feel like I need to reset. So the next vlog, y'all yeah, see after this vlog, will definitely be a reset vlog. Cause look at my hair. Look at my skin, look at my nails, look at me. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna do like some braids or something because yeah, I need to get myself together. Let's make some spaghetti. Okay y'all, so I'm just prepping me some water for the noodles. Oh yeah, I've been so busy doing things around the house that I had a hand time to focus on myself and get myself together by doing my hair and everything so i said okay i'm done with this house it's time to prioritize myself and get myself together yeah i have a tutorial on how to make spaghetti on my cooking channel and then some people find it so they were like you put oil in your spaghetti yes i put oil in my spaghetti I saw Gordon Ramsay putting like just a drop of oil to keep his noodles from sticking together. And ever since then, I promise you, I, I do not make my spaghetti without putting um, oil in it. Oh yeah, but like I was saying, I'm ready to get to the fun part of the house experience. Like buying the decor, the furniture. Because y'all, I'm not going to tell any story. I still have to look for a couch. Because we did get rid of our last couch. Because we had it for so long. We had like a gray suede couch. And let me just say, it lasts for about, how am I doing it? I don't know we had the couch for like seven years. If not, 
You have been here for like seven years. You need a couch for that long. It's like, it's time to get a new couch. We need something new. So at our last apartment, we did. You ripped the couch and we looking for a new couch. On another one of my videos, I'm going to show y'all the options that I like for a couch. And I'm going to have y'all come in on oh, which one y'all think I should get. Because, I don't know. I know the couch will probably, it's, most likely the color of the couch will be beige. You know, you can make a beige couch work with basically any color that you want to add. So that's why I'm going with beige. I do my meat first, of course. Before I even turn on the stove, I like to go ahead and break it up. And yes, I use the roll of ground beef because it's the cheapest. Y'all, me and my sister were talking the other day, and it was like, ground beef then got so expensive. I was like, yeah, girl, it has. So, and the cheapest thing to get is basically the roll of ground beef, even though they say it's not the best for you. Literally, <clears throat> that's literally all I get. So I'm just adding some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. You know, spice it up. I do my spaghetti so simple. Yeah, I just basically want to give y'all an update about where I'm in with the house. Yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> I am over it. I did not know it was going to take this long to actually put in work for a house. Because uh, when I, usually when I get a house, like I told y'all, you watch my, my very first moving vlog. I just live in it. We got our couch. We got us a TV stand. And basically, in a little kitchen table. Not a kitchen table, but um, a dining room table. And that's all I do. And I'm not trying to continue on that path. I want to make it homey. So, like I said, I'm excited about getting to decorate. And I'm so ready for those vlogs where I can take you out to my store. Ross, I might even take a trip to TJ Maxx, even though it's like 45 minutes away. Definitely might take a trip. And see what we can find. I feel like even if I don't find nothing at TJ Maxx when I go, I'll still be happy because I went. <laughs> That's how much I love TJ Maxx, y'all. I love TJ Maxx. Yeah, so my last video I posted is doing so good, y'all. And I want to thank y'all, thank all the new and old subscribers for even subscribing. Like, come on now. And that would really make me up. Like, that would really just gave me the motivation, like, to keep going. Like, you never know what video will take off. Keep posting. And don't give up. For real, like, do not give up. Keep going. And it's so funny because I just, yeah, I be going off on social media, hiatus, whatever you want to call it. So, I don't know. I just want to be on to get out of it. Refresh my mind. So, um, I just downloaded TikTok back the other day. And I got on there and I saw a video of this girl was like, and she was just crying in the car, you know, talking about God. And she was like, you're right there, like your foot is in the doorway. She was like, you're not almost at the door, your foot is in the doorway. And I was like, what a word. So don't give up, you never know how close you are to your dreams. And I do want to give up, yeah, I feel like, is this really for me? <laughs> Should I keep going? But I'm not. And then plus, I love to vlog. Like I've been vlogging, since I got out of high school, y'all. I love vlogging. I just love it. And I'll never stop. And this really the purpose of this channel because I turned my old vlogging channel into a cooking channel when I saw how to do my cooking videos doing. I don't know why I did that. I should not have. And then, I don't know where I was like, I bought me a camera um, last year, a new camera. I was like, I'm going to start back vlogging. I need to vlog. It's in my heart to vlog. I cannot go without vlogging. So I made this channel. And I've just been vlogging ever since. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be more consistent now. Because why not? 
Just post. Keep posting. You never know what video will take off. And that's true. Meat drain, y'all. I'm going to add my sauce. This is the sauce I use the best. And I'm probably going to use a little more than this. I'm just going to go ahead and add my seasonings. Same seasoning I use for the meat. And my sauce. So once I add my sauce, I just let it simmer on low. For 10 minutes and after that as I mix everything together that's when I go in and I start boiling my noodles but yeah if y'all need a new sauce to try definitely give that sauce a try it's olive oil and garlic and it's so good you barely have to add any seasoning to it but y'all know I season everything and don't mind I'm a seasoner Everything must be seasoned. And I do two minutes because that's how long it takes to boil noodles to get it to out that taste. No, it takes 10 to 11 minutes for it to be out that taste. But I don't like no big soggy noodles. I like my noodles cooked to al dente. So I cook my noodles while I boil my noodles to exactly 10 minutes. Exactly. 10 to, exactly 10 to 11 minutes. Y'all can eat. Add the timber and put it in the pot. Spaghetti, and I'm about to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one because I'm hungry and ready to smash. Okay, bye bye.